Hi, Terry here. I wanted to give you a quick overview of the uh, Banner Buzz. I noticed that uh, quite a few people are having a hard time with it. And it uh, I have to admit that it is a little confusing if you try to follow the provided instructions. Uh, so what I'll do is I want to give you a quick overview on the video. And that way uh, you should be able to get the hang of it pretty quick. Uh, there's a couple of things I do want to uh, point out here. Uh, once you open it up, uh, click to make money. And what you can do is, is you can take a copy of the banner buzz and put your own banners and your own text links here. And uh, I'm not going to get deep into that because all you got to do is click the button and find out about it. There's also a help button. So you can uh, read a little help file on it. But as I said, it seems to be confusing to some. Okay, let's move on here and we'll show you here on, you've got uh, an image banner or a flash banner cover briefly here on the on the uh, image banner this is the the website that you want to load with your banner over the top of it and okay what you're doing here is in the number two area here your image file name will be where the banner is at that you want to use uh, I have entered like a full path here you know my domain name and slash banner if you have the script that it generates on your domain and it's in the same folder or subdomain as the banner you don't have to enter the full path but you know I would be on the safe side I would just enter the full path to the banner upload it via FTP to your hosting account enter the URL to it in your browser make sure you see it and it's working and then copy it from your browser and put it in here that's the easiest way your your hint text of course is uh, when people uh, put their mouse over the banner they'll see a little text so there you go that's all that is optional not required okay and this is where you want to when people click on the banner where you want to send them to number three is your banner width and in this case I'm doing a 468 by 60 you can uh, you can use any size that you desire uh, whatever makes you happy whatever banner you've got and that's all you've got to do on that one and once you do that, you generate your script and you save it. And what it tries to do, it tries right off the bat default to save it into your, uh, I'm, I'm on a Windows machine here, of course, into your, uh, like your C drive and program files and banner buzz. That's where it's trying to save it to as default. You can change the folders and save it in any area that you desire. Just make sure you uh, you know where it's at so you can find it because you're going to need it. Okay, I'm not going to save it again. I already have. Let's just take a look at it here. Let me get it here. I'm going to open with uh, Ted Notepad. And there's really not much of a, uh, a need for you to, to do anything to the file here. But I just wanted you to see it. It is a PHP file. So what you'll do is you'll upload it to your web host and that will be you send people to the link to open it and let's take a look at what it looked like here and I have loaded it up here let's do a reload again I'll show you and what I've done is is I have put it on one of my sites here and you'll see that the banner is is actually up at the top here and what I'll sh let me show you here on this you can adjust the actual the offsets of course horizontal and vertical horizontal being I guess you would say left to right and vertical up and down so you can actually adjust where you want it to appear on the page you know just experiment with it a couple of times and you'll see what I'm talking about there you can go hundred pixels which will push it all around you can get it in the middle uh, in, the, in the position here you can go with the bottom left right whatever the case that you may be experiment, experiment with it a couple of times and you'll see it's very simple to use and that's pretty much it there there is one little thing here there I've noticed that uh, nobody is doing and of course I've been using a program like this for some time now and it's a pretty cool feature on the flash banner okay what you'll do is uh, let's just say for you can use any flash banner you'll notice that some affiliates have flash banners and uh, you know they're kind of interactive and cool and uh, one of the things that uh, you'll notice 
and here is what I'll do is I'll, let me show you how to use a YouTube video. I noticed that no one's doing that, so let's do it. And let's go over here. I've already logged into my account here, and let's just pick one. Uh, let's see. Uh, here we go. What the heck? Let's just go with that one. And we don't need to listen to me. You're hearing me now. Okay, so <laughs> let's move on. Embed. What you will do is go to the embed, and you can you know you can leave this clicked if you want. You can leave the border, whatever the case may be, whatever makes you happy, and of whatever size that you want. Uh, you can pick the smallest one and do it like so. And here is your actual code that you want to embed. So I did a right click. And I'm gonna copy it. I'm gonna go back to my banner buzz, and I've clicked the flash button here you'll notice you got image or flash button and I'm gonna paste that in and I have pasted that in there you go what you want to do is is you want to make sure that you know to make everything work right you see the width and the height same thing here you want to make sure that these match to make everything kosher and you can make them small and I'll show you an example of a small one here Experiment around, you'll see what you got here. Let's look at the small one. And you'll notice that now what I've done is actually there's a little YouTube video there. And let's reload it. You'll see. And again, you can move it around wherever you want by using the actual offsets. And it'll play right on your page just like so. And of course, make sure I point that out. I'm sure you will know that, but you, after you have got everything good on your flash banner here and gotten your, your banner width changed, I'm not going through all that here, make the video longer, get everything tuned the way you want it. You got to generate your script again. Of course, you know, you can call it something else because it's going to save it in, if you're going to save it in the same folder, uh, just uh, call it whatever. I usually name them whatever site that I'm going to send it to make it simplicity once you have those going upload them to your website and want your browser to order them and that's all there is to it thanks for watching and don't forget you can brand your own banner buzz with your banners and text links for a real small amount of money have a great day